Okay, so hello everybody. Uh, I will try today to record a tutorial for Leave Me Alone 100% category. Uh, if you want to use, if you want to make another category, then you can still use this tutorial because I will explain many tricks and I will almost use the, the route for any percent. Best ending is slightly different though, but I can explain the differences. So by doing 100%, I think I can do everything. If I can um, explain where the differences are, so let's start. So for the start, um, start uh, the game starts on first input, and you will see that it makes a plant grow. And on this plant, you will mash the buttons, the arrows, and the Z button, so you can uh, make your, your character pop out, and then you go right, as I'm doing right now. You collect the leaf. So yeah, let's do it again. You're right there. I maybe I made I made the start a bit quick. You're right there, and uh, you will go right to this tree, and then you just have to climb the tree. You can try to optimize your jumps. There's different shades of jumps. And then you go left and you will go to this tree. Right there. Be careful to go there and not to go under like this. Now I will try I will have to climb up again. Let's climb over there. Oops. Okay, so now here comes the first uh, really optimized part. Uh, for myself, most of my resets uh, happen here because uh, it's really easy to, to mess up. So as you can see, you will have just to go there. And now here comes the first trick. So as you can see, if you just jump uh, normally, pretty normally, you can't reach the the higher platform. So you will have to to go on the left, activate the button, and it will unblock the door, climb up, and everything. But it's slow, so you can just okay. We'll try to do it. Thank you. Now, okay, you can just do this. So. This is not really easy to do when you're a beginner. It will take a few tries before you can you can make it. Uh, if you can see on um, on my uh, input display, I have a pr uh, very precise timing with uh, the Z button, which is my button to jump. And if you do it right, you can make the gap. So try to do it again. There we go. And now, uh, you have three acorns in this level, like this, this one. So grab it with X, and the goal is to to put them on the very on the very top of the tree to feed the squirrel, the squirrel king. So you can you can grab and throw the the acorn with X, which is what I do now. To unlock this door, just do this, and you will need to get back to keep it again, to grab it again. Now some really tight jumps, and one trick here. So what you want to do is make, make it over the top, so you can just do this, and then this. But if you do it right, you can just do... okay. I failed, never mind. If you do it right, you jump, then you will throw the acorn 
and glide at the same time. So just do this. And you make the gap. If I do this, it's because I need to unlock the other acorn. So I just threw the, the, the first acorn as soon as I could. And now I have two of them. And uh, instead of uh, losing time again, you just grab it, grab this one again, jump, grab the second one, jump, and throw them. And they're already there. So for the for the let's say second enig enigma, there are three buttons, and you have two acorns. So if you if you're on one button, you activate one. So there's uh, one acorn that will go there, one acorn that will go there, and you you will just go there. So let's do this. I grab the first one, just do this. And maybe I will I, I will explain you this jump because it's not as easy, easy to do again. So you're there. If you want to be safe, you can just uh, go on this platform and throw it. You will have the maximum height, but you can go there. It it saves you a jump, so it saves a little bit of time. <clears throat> and when you're at the um, the top of your jump, you can throw the, the acorn, and it will make it will make it. Sorry. And I felt a, a glide again. And just so you can hear, oh, I didn't make it. What a surprise. So, uh, as you can see, it's not very easy to do, but if I do it right. Okay, and you can hear a little audio cue that says, hey, you made it. And now you just press the start button and it unlocks everything. Right now, uh, put this one here, <coughs> grab the other one. And now you have four buttons, three acorns. You just have to put every uh, put every every acorn there. Not a big deal. And now another trick. Sorry. So you're there. You can just okay. Let's do this. You can just uh, take some time to. To go on the squirrel and give it to him, but <clears throat> you can also throw to him with a very tight timing. So that's what we will do. Uh, basically, you just need okay. Let's uh, do it uh, for training. You just in the same in the same movement press Z then X. As you can see on my input display, and by doing this. Ah, I was a bit high, so maybe a bit faster, and it works. <coughs> and that's it for the squirrel. So now, what we will do is um, keep it, um, grab the cloud that you will need for further use or later use, and I will explain you a glitch that happens in two rooms when you pass doors. So when you pass doors, okay, so uh, let's do it another way. When you fall, just fall there, you will get back to the point where you last touched the floor. But when you're loading a zone like this, uh, if you can, if you manage to jump on the first frame, then uh, the game will say, "Hey, you, you weren't on the floor anywhere on this room yet." So it will have a default uh, value for the floor, which is uh, in midair, and you will see it helps a lot uh, for cutting this level. So what you will do is enter this room. And while you enter this room, you will press Z. 
so you will you will jump on the very first uh, frame and press left as well. Then you make a second jump, as you saw, and it's magic. Now you press the button, the wind changes, you climb the tree, make a precise jump because otherwise you will fall under. But if you fall under, you have a, a backup just here. And now you're there. You can boost yourself with the wind, by the way. So now you're there. The cloud is blocked, and you have the, I'd say, dark button that will open the doors, and the, the light button that will change the wind. So you just, you, first of all, you change the wind, then you do this, you change the wind again, and when the cloud is here, you change again. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Now you go over there, over there. Um, just jump right here. I will do it again. You can do it from here, but it's pretty close. So, uh, you can hit the the top here. So if you do this, you have a backup here again. Otherwise, you will you will land on this platform. You go there. jump and it's pretty easy to understand. You grab the cloud and now you press C. You can water the plants and they will grow. Helps a lot for the next trick. And now you just go back to the beginning and some backtracking. So just climb down the tree, make some precise placements. Okay, and now we will uh, get an item that you usually don't have uh, this soon, which is the blowing plants. So as you as you saw on the tree and on the the windy zone, you have uh, some blowing plants that make you go up very fast. And usually you have this you can have an item that makes the that makes you able to to plant uh, to well to oh I missed my words and to use these plants uh, whenever you want and you have this item after the first ending of the game that we will see later but actually, if you just uh, water here, put water here, it grows and you can take it. So now I'm OP because I have the blood plants that you will activate with the down arrow. Now you go on the very right. And once again you will have to do a super jump. The thing, the thing I made in the beginning, so if I do it wrong, you see, I can't reach it. But actually if I do it right, if I do it right, thank you, I can do it. And now, once again, activate the cloud and it will open the door. Now instead of just uh, climbing, you can put a plant and then make it. And now we will grab the dash, so just follow the route, a few plants, you go, you go here. Right there. Just have to go over the top once again. And now I have the dash. So uh, if you want to do any percent, you just go back to the previous room, to the beginning room, and go to the very left, which we'll, we will see later once again. But now we will just go back. Oh no, sorry. I made a mistake because I'm a bit messing up. If you want to do any percent, okay, never mind. Uh, you will go right. You will go over there. Not on this uh, on this door, but this one. And you will grab uh, a mask. That's all. And then you get back. But we're doing a hundred percent right now. 
so you just go here pretty close to the door to the wall but not too much and now we'll start gathering elements so you put something here a plant get here get there and wow we've got it so to complete any uh, hundred percent you will have to gather seven elements three outs and do the two endings of the game that's all so now because it's on the way for an element you will activate the night and to activate night time I'm doing it terribly wrong you have once again to go at the very top of something so we just follow these steps um, okay here you can do a squat jump and I failed it so I will try to make it please thank you but if you fail it as I made many times here you can just go there you're losing a little bit of time but it's okay so now just dash on the, the bell and it's night and you can get your second element here now be careful to go there because you have uh, very little room and you can easily uh, hit a floor and lose some time Now we didn't um, go over there yet because we didn't need to. But now, as you can see, there are little things like hey, a super hexagon poster, little um, Easter eggs, things like that. But that's not what we are interested in. So I will do it again. You fall here after. After coming from here, two dashes, you fall, and you go directly here. Once again, two dashes, plant, dash, and now uh, plants everywhere. Okay, the mills. We didn't see the mills yet. The mills, um, you can activate them by uh, blowing it right with a dash so as you can see you just go there make a few steps jump dash and one hit and you do this it will unlock uh, an element for later now once again just dash and you have enough space to, to pass dash again on the the top part, this one and this one. Little trick: uh, you jump and press left, and when you're uh, as with the mouse, when you're around there, uh, you dash to the right, and you will see. Bam! That's the only way you can pass. Hello, Facebook. Now once again a few plants will make you up to the red elements. Don't forget to use the dash very frequently as, uh, as much as you can. It's really useful. So here you have three plants with meals. You can make the meal the platforms move with the meals. But actually there's an easier way to pass, just go there. Uh, blow a plant and do it like this. That's all. And now you climb up. Oh, that was a bit up, a bit too too high. Anyway, plant again, prepare it, and now the mausoleum. So there are six ghosts. There's one here, one here. Well, ghosts are a bit everywhere, so. 
As you can see, there are six ghosts and six tombs. That's a tomb, that's a tomb. There are six of them. Shit. That's not what I wanted to do. So get back here. And now you will just have to follow my route. I won't uh, speak much, I think. Because um, it will be pretty easy. I mean by easy. Uh, it's, it's mostly following the good route. So I hope uh, the previous ghost didn't uh, kept, it, kept it on the... Okay. So that's already two ghosts. Now you you will need to make this one go right there. But it's pretty slow and if and this has a pretty pretty short range. So if you go too far away from him, uh, it won't uh, follow you anywhere else. Double dash this one. And now just wait for a while. Here, that's the the mask I told you about. Uh, uh, earlier, let's say. And so, what you will do is just dash one. And now, fall, fall to this one. Go on the corner. And it's okay because now if you do it right, okay, they don't do it, do it right. Okay, I totally failed it. I saved it. So what I did is, if you do it right, you have the um, the the fifth uh, ghost that goes here. And by going up, if you go up again, the the last ghost will go on his tomb. And at the same time, during the cutscene, you can move. But it's normal. It's not a bug or anything, it's normal. So what you will do is during the cutscene, you go you do this, do this, and dash. And now you save time. And just grab this. and go back okay I found a bit so now we'll have to go there this is something special 400% you won't need it for best ending so you just go there make a jump and glide and dash at the same time you can see on my input display how I do it and we'll go there and hey there's an hour so that's one out out of three and now you just fall go over there maybe I was a bit too high I was a bit too high anyway and you fall here that's what you unlocked earlier with the, the first meal. And that's another element. Backtracking again. You won't have anything more to do in this place. Now you go over there. Uh, it's something that will be useful for both 100% and best ending, but in different ways. So, once again, plant, you jump, you do a few dashes, you will land here, go over there, and hey, second owl. So, for best ending, you will just uh, continue your way left, but for 100% blow plant. And dash the owl. Now for this trick, not really a trick, but something you will need to do. You have Pepper here, and this guy is sleeping. You dash the Pepper, 
and with the blow you can have this element. And now back to the windy zone for the end. The last owl and the last element. So, gone over there. And for best ending, since you don't need the, the owl, you will go directly here, over there, with a plant. Get here, and I will explain later what's going on. But instead, for 100%, you go on this platform. And here's the, the last owl. Be careful when you dash it, because it's easy to mess up. Okay, so we're back. Uh, you see the trees there. So you just go there, on this block, and do a super jump. Oh, made it. Continue to climb. Go over here. A jump. And I fell. Brilliant. So I'll try to do it again. Okay, works better with the super jump. And now you get the, end, the last elements. And now the two endings. So, once again, different routes depending on your category. So, for both, uh, no. For both any percent and uh, and best and uh, hundred percent, you will need to do the normal ending. So, for any percent, you will uh, you will be at the very right of the map. You just go on the very left, which is just under me, and then uh, you will do whoops, you will do what I will do. Uh, just in a few minutes, but for best ending, you go there, fall, and go back to the the room with the bell, and I will show you at the end what's going on. So now you just go on the the last block possible, go there, press Z and left, and do this. Very easy. You need to wait for the royal oak cutscene to end. And now, uh, oh, you already have everything to pass. That's a shame. With a dash, you can do this jump perfectly. And now, just do this. It's very easy to be ahead of him. But as you will see, you're ahead, but he's already there. Now I can take a break. It's a cutscene you, ca you can skip. And it's the end of any percent and normal ending. Uh, I will show you in the next room. So you do one dash, two dash, and third dash, and it's done for any percent. So for hundred percent, otherwise uh, you can't skip this as well. But it's not very long, like maybe twenty seconds. So, second time we, you will have to mash. There we go. So, three or four dashes, four dashes. Just go back to this room. One plant, two plants, and you're done. So, this was both the end for best ending which is this ending and for best ending you won't have to normal ending seems uh, logical and for 100% where well, you need to do everything so 
I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. It took half an hour, so any percent uh, can take uh, pretty easily less than eight minutes, and best ending around a quarter of an hour, so fifteen minutes. No, it's four hundred percent, and best ending is somewhere between around maybe maybe it will take you. 12-13 minutes is a bit shorter than 100% because you have less things to do. So I hope you enjoyed. This was my first time doing a tutorial so I hope it's clear enough. I hope I didn't bore you during this. And I hope uh, it will make you want to run this because this game is really, it really needs popularity. It really deserves it. So that's why I thought Doing a tutorial was worth it. And uh, if you if you want more more explanations, more everything, you can you can go on my Twitter right there, or you can go to hashtag LMA for leave me alone on SRL IRC. I will take a pleasure to help you getting better at this game. So, hope to see you another time and goodbye.